This patient came in with a swan neck deformity after a PIP joint fracture dislocation. So the most limiting factor for him was that he couldn't make a fist with active PIP joint flexion due to the hyperextension of his PIP joint. So the only way for him to make an active fist was by using his contralateral hand to block the motion at the MCP joint, uh, allowing for PIP joint flexion, but that's not functionally sustainable. So we created for him a dorsal blocking splint to prevent that hyperextension at the PIP joint. And while donning that splint, you can see that he is able to actively make a full fist and extend to the limit of the blocking splint with no difficulty, allowing him to have full functional use of his hand despite the swan neck deformity.